Okay, uh, welcome back. And in this video, we're going to be looking at more third equations. This is going to be just the other kind of type of third equation you're going to get. So on the last one, there was just one third. This one, there are going to be two thirds. Okay, so we'll just go right ahead. We're going to have x plus 7 and one third. And the second one is going to be x plus 2. This is all going to be equal to 5. Okay, so it's going to be the same rules. We're going to square both sides. But first, we're going to put one third on each side. Okay, so I'm just going to rearrange this, x plus 7 is equal to 5 minus square root of x plus 2, okay? So now we're going to square both sides, I'll do this in blue again, like last video, and now this is the trick again, square the whole side, so you're not squaring the 5 and squaring this, and keeping the minus to square the entire side, this is always going to happen, if you have to square both sides, be really careful about that, okay? So it's a huge mistake that lots of people do, so try, try to avoid the mistake. Uh, so this squared again is just going to give us x plus 7, handy enough. This one here, okay, I'm going to write this out twice, it's going to be 5 minus uh, the square root of x plus 2, and 5 minus square root of x plus 2, and then we're going to have x plus 7 is going to be equal to, so it's going to be 25 minus 10 x plus 2, the square root of x plus 2, uh, and then this squared is going to be plus x plus 2, okay? Because if this squared is going to be uh, x plus 2, because that's what's inside the square root, and minus by minus is going to give us plus, okay? Uh, so the x plus 7 here, uh, we're going to... So sorry, now what we're going to do is we're going to move everything over to this side, except for the thirds. Again, we're going to keep just the third on one side, everything else on the other side, and then we're going to square. So we're basically back to what we had in the last video, okay, so uh, it's going to be x plus 7 minus 25 minus x minus 2 is equal to minus 10 x square root of x plus 2. Okay, so we'll just finish this. The x's are actually going to cancel over here. Uh, we're going to have 7, uh, so minus 27, so sorry, plus 7 minus 27 uh, is equal to minus 10 square root of x plus 2, we're going to have minus 20 is equal to minus 10 x plus 2, so I'm actually going to divide both sides by minus 10, and minus 10, ooh, minus 10, so this is going to give us 2 on this side is equal to the square root of x plus 2, okay, because the minus 10 is going to cancel with the minus 10, that'll cancel and give it and be left with 2. Um, Sorry about that little thing there. Uh, so now 2 is equal to x, the square root of x plus 2. So now we're just going to square them again. So I'm going to use blue again for this. This squared. This squared. We're going to be left with 4 is equal to x plus 2 on this side. x is going to be equal to 2. Okay? Uh, here's our answer. And what's, I probably shouldn't have drawn the box. Remember the last thing I always said? So I'll go green again. We should go back up. We have to check the two of them. So I'm not actually not going to go ahead and check them because it's x plus 7 and x plus 2. So the, both of them, there's going to be no, no minuses in there, no worry of any minus. But for example, again, if there were a 7 there or a minus 2, we'd have to check. And then we'd find out that the x minus 7 one wouldn't be, uh, wouldn't be a viable option. So yeah, thanks for watching. So in this case, there just happened to be that there's only one solution. Sometimes it's going to be two when you have... Uh, thirds just because there's going to be a squared but in this one there's only one solution so thanks for watching oh sorry just one last thing i'll just say this just to kind of recap uh so I'll say just for third equations you always have to uh so i'm going to say third uh, equations there's just basically two things you need to remember let's do this i might start doing this in the videos quick recap at the end uh square both sides And always check your answer. Yeah, and then just the one last thing I'll say to this as well. Uh, no, I won't. I won't write it in, but I'll just say you want to have either the third on one side on its own, and everything else on the other side, or one third on each side, and then once you square it, then you're gonna have to do that again, kind of. So square both sides. Just try to keep the thirds all on one side. Uh, except for this example here. So 
Okay, hopefully I haven't confused you there. If you have two if you have two thirds in an equation, keep them on opposite sides. But if there's only one third in the equation, like we had here, then just keep it on the one side and keep everything else on the opposite side. So hopefully I didn't confuse you with that. But basically square both sides and check your answer. Those are the two points. Thank you.